Moving on. Will the Russia-Ukraine war spill over beyond the borders? Well, the risk of a wider conflict is increasing each day. Poland has now said that the presence of NATO troops in Ukraine is not unthinkable. This is the clearest indication of a possible and direct NATO involvement in the Ukraine-Russia war. Poland's foreign minister made the comments during an event marking 25th anniversary of Poland's accession to NATO. He further appreciated French President Emmanuel Macron for not ruling out this possibility in a public statement earlier this month. Tout a été évoqué ce soir de manière très libre et directe. Il n'y a pas de consensus aujourd'hui pour envoyer de manière officielle, assumée et endosser des troupes au sol. Mais en dynamique, rien ne doit être, rien ne doit être exclu. Nous ferons tout ce qu'il faut pour que la Russie ne puisse pas gagner cette guerre. Although France's statement did not find any takers among Western countries, it did spark a larger debate over Europe's support to Ukraine. Remember, the leaked call recording of German military officials also hinted at the presence of British troops in the war-torn country. Now, UK troops are reportedly training Ukrainian soldiers in using long-range weapons. Both the incidents had received backlash from Russia, with the Kremlin warning that NATO troops' presence in Ukraine could risk a global nuclear conflict. Действия США и их сателлитов фактически привели к демонтажу системы европейской безопасности. Это порождает риски для всех. Очевидно, что необходимо работать над тем, чтобы уже в обозримой перспективе. On the battlefield, Ukraine has already admitted that it is outgunned and outnumbered by the Russian forces. Aid from the United States is blocked and ammunition from the European Union is slowing down. Ukraine says delay in aid is costing the country more lives and territory. So the question being that will Russia's continuous gains drag Ukraine's allies in the war and escalate the risk of a nuclear war in the future?